All righty. So one of the things in the National Climate Assessment Report number five is they're talking about temperature. Now, you know, they put up the usual graph, you know, United States and global changes and average surface temperature. Well, you know, of course, it went, uh, interestingly enough, even though the Industrial Revolution started in about 1850, and we were putting carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. Guess what? Between 1895 and about uh, oh, 1925, temperature went down. And then it went up, peaking around 1940. And then it went down again. And now it's going up. And so what's really going on here? Is this really climate? Is this just the natural system doing its variation? Uh, but here's the thing. They always show these graphs in a highly magnified way. Uh, particularly when you're talking about the United States. But if you look at the actual data from the Climate Reference Network in the United States, and look at this, you, it, it's flat, at least since 2005. There's really no gigantic increase in temperature. Where's the crisis? There is none. And here's the other thing. If you look at the scale of temperature on the scale of human experience, like we experienced with a thermometer outdoors, you know, going from, you know, temperatures in the teens and, and single digits in the wintertime, all the way up to 100 plus in the summertime, it's different. Now, this is what the, the global temperature looks like according to NASA GIFs. But if you move down a little bit and look at it on the scale of temperature experienced by humans, scroll down a little bit there, Andy. There you go. It's flat. Where's the crisis? You can't see it. The only way that they would know that there's a climate change is through statistical analysis. People can't feel that little bit of temperature change over time. It's just not possible. 